previously on All My Children. Your test results are right here. Some people have a good reason to call me names. Maybe it's time I told you why. We're going to have an adventure. What kind of adventure? Oh, yeah. yeah. Charlotte Vale of Betty Davis. Now Voyager. I saw the movie. So Betty Davis was here? No. Liza Colby was here. So why didn't you say something? What do you want me to say, honey? Liza Colby slept here? Well, if it was bothering you, then I think you should say something. It's not bothering me. I'm not bothered at all. Hell, I hate deja vu. This was Liza's room. This is the spot where you and Liza squared off. Isn't it? We don't got time for explanations today. Yeah, but Daddy, I want to hear. Uh, Jamie's upstairs. He's your guest. Trevor, it's time. Amanda, it's important that you know the truth. And it's doubly important that I be the one to tell you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Erica. Sorry, uh, will you excuse me? Uh -huh. uh. Sky Chandler. Hi. It's Andy. Um, what's new? Oh, Mr. West came by to pick up the surrey results right after you left. How did he take it? I didn't stick around to find out. Uh, can we get together later? Um, I'll have to get back to you on that. Um, I'll be in touch soon, I, I promise. Something's going on. Don't bother to try to deny it. Just fill me in on the details. Sky, what on earth are you doing? Uh, upstairs on hospital business. Well, so was I. I was signing us up for Lamaze classes. Listen, uh, rack up all later and I'll give you a couple points this time. <laughs> oh. oh. Sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of all the rooms and all the inns in the entire state, you pick this one. That bad, huh? Like a root canal with nothing to kill the pain. Well, you know, you tried to help a friend. Well, I came across looking like a four-star jerk. I'm with nothing but the truth and a big mouth. But if you hadn't have said anything, how do you think you'd feel? Warning Liza against Adam. Like I'd stood by and watched a friend jump off a bridge. So you did the right thing. Yeah, well, she took it the wrong way. What'd you expect? I don't know. Gratitude? A thank you would have been nice. You did what you could. If Liza's into self-serving, controlling egomaniacs and loveless marriages... she should be deliriously happy with Adam Chandler. Bingo. I thought you said you were over her. I am. I'm so over her, I can't remember how we started this conversation. I know what I want. And who? Then this room doesn't matter. How long do we have? 
up before you got to leave? Hours. Hours. Mm -hmm. Hours alone, just you and me. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do. No phone. Mm -hmm. No play dates. Mm -hmm. No lies to call me. in my work. <laughs> Why are you being so secretive? I'm very serious about my work at Tempo. Well, I know you're very serious about your editor. Edmund admires my work. And they're talking about your way with the byline. Oh, we don't need to go there. He's a happily married man. Yes, with a growing family. Erica, I'm cured. He spent all of New Year's talking about Maria's 20 points of perfection. Oh, only 20? He worships her, Scott. Okay, well, I'm relieved. I'm absolutely relieved. I mean, you should not be spinning your wheels, you know, on the impossible. Agreed. Edmund and Dimitri happen to be very loyal to the women they love. That's why they're so irresistible. Well, sometimes the lure of wanting what you can't have is irresistible, and too many women go there. Well, we're not all as fortunate as you and Maria. Mm, I know. I know we're blessed. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, it's a, a recommendation one of the board members' son is out of work. Oh, well, um, geez. What happened, a neurologist down in his life? <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, he's uh, in construction in, in Texas. I, I knew that your father was in business down there. I thought Mateo might look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll know where to forward it. I'll, I'll just take it from here. That, that's what I was thinking. All right, well, listen, guys, uh, I've... Uh, Got to sign up for those Lamas classes before they close. Oh, yeah. What nights look good for you? Oh, um, I, I have hours on, on Monday and then Friday's out, so Tuesday or Thursday. Okay, works for me. Okay. Listen, um, can you try to stay off your feet? <laughs> I will try. All right, and get plenty to eat. Mm-hmm, I will. Plenty to rest and drink lots of milk, okay? Milk? Got it. All right, I would drink it for her, but that doesn't <laughs> count. <laughs> okay, I'll see you at home. Okay. Listen, um... <laughs> uh, I'll be done with work early if you want me to come by and pick you up. No, no, I've got a consult and it might run long. So I'm okay. Thank you so. Hey, okay. love you. Love you. Children, brought to you by Mountain Grown Folgers Coffee, the best part of waking up.
People call me mean names sometimes because I did some bad things. Yeah, but they're still wrong. You're nice. But there were times when I wasn't nice. You saved Jamie's life. That's true. But that doesn't mean I, I didn't do some other terrible things. Look, did you ever wish for something so much and you wanted it so badly that it hurt? Mm-hmm. I wish for my mommy to come back. I know you do. I wish for things, too. And... I wish for people to like me. And that they would accept me, and, and that I would have friends. And no matter how hard I wished for it, it didn't come true. And when it didn't happen, I got very angry. And I did things that I thought would make people like me, but I did all the wrong things. Like what? Like not telling the truth. Pretending to be somebody else. Like on Halloween? Uh, sort of like Halloween, but... but not for fun. When your daddy tucks you in the bed at night, he gives you a kiss and... he makes you feel safe and warm, doesn't he? Oh, everybody wants to feel like that, even grown-ups. And when I couldn't find that feeling any place in my life, I got very sick. Did you go to the doctors? Eventually. But not until I'd already hurt people. And when you hurt people, you get punished. I went to jail for a long time. You were just a baby. We didn't know each other then. And after a lot of hard work, I got better. But because of the bad things I did, I'm not allowed to see my little girl anymore. Not ever? I don't know. But that's why I can't introduce you to her. Is she far away? No, not far. She lives with her daddy. She takes good care of her, and she loves him a lot. Does she miss you a lot? I miss her with all my heart and soul. And I love her very, very much. They should let you see her. Did you steal something? No. Not really, I didn't. Then what? Amanda, I was very confused. You see, I was all alone. I had nobody to turn to, nobody I could talk to. And so I, I started talking to myself. Sometimes in my own mind. And then one terrible, awful day, I made the worst mistake of my life. Guts, that's it for the storytelling. We got a movie to catch. Can Janet come? I can't, sweetie. I, I, I'm busy. I, I've got to get back to work. Come on, sweetheart. Jamie's upstairs. He's ready to go. And if we don't hurry up, we're going to miss the popcorn and the candy. You like that? Okay. Where were you going with that tripe? I was trying to get to the truth, Trevor. Oh, there ain't enough sugar in the universe to coat that tail. 
Don't you see what you're doing to the kid? We owe Amanda the truth. I owe Amanda as happy a childhood as possible. I want her to go to sleep at night knowing that her friends aren't laughing at her. She has a, had a crazy life already, and you, you want to push her over the edge. No, I don't. I never would do anything like that. I'd rather die first. Good. Then I got options. I'm ready. Hey, sport. Hi, Jamie. Where's Amanda, huh? She's coming. Hey, princess. What you got there? When I miss my mommy, I talk to her picture. It's up by my bed. Here, this is me. Oh, it's beautiful. You can have it and talk to me whenever you're all alone. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you can come see me anytime. Can't you, Daddy? Please? We'll see about it, okay? R right now we gotta hurry. We're gonna miss the beginning of the movie, okay? It's movie time, troops. Out to the car, buckle up in the back, and I'll be right out right behind you, okay? Do you mind if I stay for a few minutes? Bye. Been that moose. And that don't change nothing. I want you out of here. You lock up before you leave. There's a brand new VP of marketing in Enchantment. He's very handsome. Very single. <laughs> I'll find my own man. <laughs> my... Sky, I don't mean to be insulting or anything, but with your track record, I could really push you in the right direction. Right. Meaning away from Edmund. What about Edmund? I, um, I was just bragging about the uh, Sinclair that you shared with me. Have you seen Maggie Cole? I uh, scheduled her for an interview, and I'm running a late. Uh, I hope she didn't bail. Well, I know Maggie Cole. She wasn't in here. Okay, good. I was afraid I might miss her. Um, I better go. Um, I finished up the research um, on that Collins article. Okay, great. Listen, you mind sticking around? I'd like to talk about a few things. Oh, well, unfortunately, I can't stay. I have to go home and pack. Oh, where are you headed? Oh, Seattle to see Bianca. Oh, great. Give her my love. And okay. listen, tell her next family poker night, she's mine. I'm wiping out a piggy bank. <laughs> oh, listen, did, did you happen to just come from the hospital? Yeah, I spent some time with Maria. Well, did you happen to see Dimitri? Yeah, he dropped by Maria's office after a board meeting. Well, there was a board meeting. I tell you, those people at the hospital, they don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, if it's like tempo, believe me, the schedules change every hour. Uh, a minute? Well, I don't have a minute to spare. See ya. I'll call you. Good yeah. to see you. Have a safe trip. Speaking of trips, um, about New York, I'd like to settle a few things like where you and I stand. No. 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 I would give anything to change no. the results. No. No. Oh, it can't be. It can't. The test is 99% no. accurate. But I know. I just, I, I, I know this baby was Edmund's. No, I, this can't I be know happening. That. Look, look this at can't Maria. Be we will find a way. We will find a way. Uh, uh, find a way to do what, Dimitri? Find a way to do what? To, to, to go back or no, something no, and, no, and, and, and no, erase that no, night? Now, now that we know the truth, we can find a way to handle this. No, we can't. We can't go back and erase it. We have, we have to go on. We have to accept no, it. Don't you Move. tell me what to do, Dimitri. Don't you tell me what to do. I wish with all my heart that this had turned no, out this differently. this was your fault. Because you were the one who pushed this test. You wanted to know. You wanted to know all the answers. We, because you had to know, Dimitri. You had to know. You would... You would, would have hated yourself for the rest of your life if anything happened to this baby. Nothing will happen to this baby. Nothing bad will happen to this baby. Not if we take precautions. Oh, my God. <sighs> this baby was... 
Our miracle, this baby, was our dream. It's, it's, it's Kelly. No, our dead Edmund and my our dreams are over. This no. is this, our dreams are gone. No, Maria, no. <sighs> oh my God. We prayed. We prayed so hard for this baby. You don't understand. We begged God to and, bless us with and this he, baby. And He has blessed you twice. At, at a price. At a price. Don't you see this? This is His punishment. Don't you see it? I, the price is my husband and my and my son. No, no. You will not lose your family. I will not. Let it happen. <laughs> and Edmund's, Edmund's life is, is, is perfect. He has everything that he ever wanted. And I've just taken it all away. I, I don't know what to do. What am I going to do? All my children will be back in a moment here on ABC. We don't, we don't have to decide anything today. We can move slowly on this. Okay, uh, all right. Th then what? Then what? We'll, we'll, we'll talk to Dr. Clater. We'll, we'll tell him about the thalassemia. And then, and then he's going to know that, that Edmund's not the, the father. <laughs> what choice do we have? But that makes how many, though? How many does that... I mean, that's two or, or three, because Peggy knows now, and... and Oh, my God. I mean, it's just a matter of time before Edmund finds out. Peggy will never say oh, a word. No. Dr. Crater is bound by medical ethics. And then, and then when we're in the delivery room and then he's holding my hand and the baby is born and then they have to whisk it off to have some, like, emergency blood transfusion. How, okay, how, how are we going to explain that? How it, are we gonna it explain? may not be necessary. But they're going to keep on more lives. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I... Th I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm getting pretty darn good at lying, so maybe <laughs> it'll just become automatic by then. Maybe I'll just lie so much that, that I won't even remember what the truth is. And I won't even remember how to be honest to the one person in the world that I love more than anything. Oh, I can't live that way. I can't. Look, Mario, we have time. It breaks my heart to see Edmund making plans and, and... Oh, he's talking about his kids. And, and Erica is just as vulnerable as is Sam. I mean, it, this affects the rest of their lives. God, don't you think I know that? Well, I, I have not the enemy here. I just want my life back. I want my life. Maria, Erica... Sam and Edmund didn't ask to have their lives turned upside down. I can't do that to them. I mean, I, I can't destroy our entire family because we made one terrible mistake. Can you? Edmund, I gave up crushes along with mood rings and pep rallies. I didn't mention the word crush. You didn't have to. Look, it's not like I think I'm irresistible. Right? Close I enough. Just... <laughs> Are you making this harder on purpose? Look, I'd be lying if I didn't admit that if, and this is a huge if, your life were in a different place, I'd like to see where things would go. So I wasn't totally wrong. But you love your wife. No confusion, no ambiguity. A simple, old-fashioned marriage. Sweet. And when you've had the kind of marriage that I've had, you admire the good one. It's not a crime. No, it's not. That's good, because this guy... We're a good team. And I want to throw more responsibility your way. And we're going to be working even more closely. Will so, I get my own byline? I want to bring you along slowly. I'm ready. Almost. So, have we passed? Was this a test? All great friendships are tested. 
I'd say with flying colors. Ken, mm -hmm. I thought I could handle this. I say you handle me just fine. I want a nice and simple. Well, nothing this nice is ever that simple. Yeah, see, that's, that's my point exactly. I mean, whatever happened to no strings? Well, it's nice on paper. It's kind of rough on people. Especially when you wake up at 2 a.m. alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the phone rings at lunch, and yours is the only voice I want to hear. How'd this happen? I believe it started with the irresistible urge to kiss you. <laughs> well, do you realize we're involved? How on earth did we ever do I that? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. But this, us, it's really starting to mean something. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. I mean, that the phone call at lunch hour. I really find myself waiting for that. <laughs> and meeting at holidays after work. I run out of the hospital. That's why I couldn't go to your house today. What do you mean? Because you didn't want to be with me there? Glow, well, if it's a problem, I mean, if Jake's some court of some kind of deal. I'll just set up a series of signals, you know, I'll put up a neon sign on the roof. They'll come over, close. It's here. not Jake. I can't be with you in Dixie's bed. Think things had uh, gotten better. Well, they they really haven't. I'm just pushing harder. That's all. But don't worry. No inner voices. No bizarre fantasies. You okay? I'm fine. I, I better go. Trevor only gave me five minutes. Hmm? Well, wait, wait. Don't talk to me. I think it's time that Amanda and I got to know one another. Trevor has other plans. He still has that restraining order. Well, he's lightened up on it, but I've got to leave. Yeah, but you can see Amanda. Well, not without a fight. But some things are better. I've got a good job at Enchantment, and I've made a few friends. Great. Hey, listen, I'm uh, I'm sorry about how we left things. Oh, that 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 one's on me. Huh? My head was in a very bad place. It's not there anymore. I'm glad. So what brings you to town? Well, uh, well Laura invited me to her adoption ceremony. Oh, uh, right. I, I forgot about it. I've been so busy at work that it, it kind of snuck up on me. I actually haven't seen Laura for weeks. She's been studying so hard. Sounds like she's doing well. I think she really likes living at Brooks. <laughs> And Scott? Well, they look like a pretty cute couple. <laughs> Is it pretty serious? I'm not sure. She's thinking of college. I'm really out of the loop. I, I don't really know what's going on. She's better off with Brooke. After all, Brooke's a great gal. And you? Are you all right, Janet? Yeah. I'm fine. I mean, I figure if I live long enough, I can look down my past. At this rate, it ought to take me till I'm about 105, but at least I'm on the right path now. So, Janet, tell me what else is going on. Trevor will explain it to you when he gets back. 
Did I tell you he's at the movies? I'd like to hear from you. It was a tough visit. I tried to tell Amanda the truth. The the do you have mother? No. I can't tell her that, not yet. I mean, the only mother she's ever known was was Laurel. And she heard someone refer to me as Janet from another planet, and I was trying to explain to her why. And you said? I said that I did some bad things that I was very sorry for. And then I went to jail. This was in front of Trevor. Oh. I'd rather Amanda came to us with her questions rather than finding things out from kids at school or some stranger. Oh, that sounds smart. She found out I have a little girl. And she wants to meet her. Oh, shoot. I explained to her that because of those bad things that I did, I wasn't allowed to see my little girl anymore. How did Amanda take it? She was kind of confused by it, but she seemed to understand. Of course, Trevor accused me of being self-serving, putting my feelings in front of Amanda's. You know, Trevor's just afraid that Amanda might get hurt, you know? And that, uh, hey, he may even lose her. To me? Well, uh, you guys are getting closer, and he knows how much you love her. That's why I don't want Amanda to ever become scared of me. Janet. I could talk to Trevor, no. if you like. You just think I went behind his back and conned you into it. No, 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 okay. But if you need me... Thank you. That means a lot. I can handle Trevor. Have you seen Brooke yet? Uh, no, no, I just, I just got in. You must have missed her a lot. Oh. Yeah, I have. You seem to have something very special. Janet. It's okay. Look, my life is completely different now. You deserve to be happy. I've got to go. Tell Laura I said hello and that I'll give her a call. Janet, take, take care of yourself, huh? You too. I took a gamble that you would be here. <laughs> yes, and you just happened to have a freshly baked coffee cake with you. Oh, all right. You caught me. <laughs> Dear. Thank you. I, uh, well, I just wanted to uh, come over and check out for myself uh, to see if you were really here. Joe told you. <laughs> oh, now, he said you gave permission to tell... Oh, it's wonderful news, Erica. I just, it's just so incredible. I almost fainted when he told me. <laughs> oh, I can remember how it was um, so many years ago, but when I found out I was pregnant with Joey. <laughs> Total shock. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no preparing you for it. You know, hello, you're in perfect health, and by the way, you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, the next 18 years are completely booked now. <laughs> oh, you know, I just want to tell my mother. I actually have gone several times to pick up the phone. I, I would love to talk to her. I would love her advice. Mona would have been so excited. <laughs> she would have knitted half the layup by now. <laughs> Does uh, Bianca know? Uh, actually, uh, I was in the middle of packing when, when you arrived. I'm leaving uh, to go to the airport in a few hours. I'm flying out to Seattle to tell her myself. She'll be thrilled. I hope so. Mm. Our kids were just great about it. Mm. Well, how are you feeling? Mm. Ecstatic. I am just floating on a cloud in dreamland. <laughs> well, you do have that glow about you. Well, I also have an appetite of a lumberjack. <laughs> but you know what? I've carried Bianca beautifully. I'm in great shape. I'm going to be fine. Honestly, there is nothing, nothing that can spoil the way I feel right now. Dimitri, the, the, you don't understand. The truth scares me to death. It scares me to death. 
but not as much as, as having an empty marriage. Well, Maria, you have been through so much. You have already lost your father, Julia. And now I can maybe lose Edmund. Maria. I believe that this baby is meant to be Edmund's child. I cannot take that away from him. Now, Maria, we, we, we can... We can work our way through this. So are, are you saying that, that, that you could go through your whole life and deny your own child? I have to. For Erica. For Edmund. Okay, uh... But I... I but if, if, if I... Dimitri, if, if we keep lying, what kind of marriage will we have? What kind of marriage will you have? I, I mean, we're going to have like an, an invisible wall up between us. Once the truth is out there, there is no going back. Edmund is bound to lash out. He has every right. What, 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 what is the greater evil? Living with this lie or tearing our entire family apart? Maria, think, think about it. Is, 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 the, is the truth worth losing Sam and Edmund? You can realize that Dixie's one of my closest friends. Yeah, honey, she's also my ex-wife, accent on X. Just think maybe I should talk to her. Hang on, just a second. You want to talk to Dixie about us? Yeah. Would you mind? I'm not sure. What are you going to do, compare notes? No, I just want to make sure that that she's comfortable with, with this, with us. As I recall, she's very comfortable with some guy down in the holler. My convention is in Richmond. I think maybe afterwards I can stop by in West Virginia and see honey, her. And honey, I... we're, we're, we're grown adults. We don't need to ask Dixie's permission. I'm not. I'm not asking her permission. I just want to make sure that she knows that we're not doing something behind her back. Hmm. Okay. Yeah? You can take a couple things down for me. Like a new mitt for Junior. He, uh... Apparently he outgrew his old one. Oh. Dixie, I said hi. That I hope she's as happy as I am these days. Dimitri is just thrilled. Of course, he never raised Anton himself, and although he loves my Bianca, I mean, having a baby together with me, I mean, he just can't wait. Yeah, he's going to be a spectacular daddy. Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine this place next year? With all those children. <laughs> all those babies, I can't yeah. wait. Oh, Mona would have been so proud of you, Erica. You have finally found the kind of family life she always wanted for you. I just am so thrilled I can hardly keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love Edmund more than anything in the world. And he deserves to be loved the way he loves. Totally and honestly. Don't. Rush into this, please. Edmund always has said that our love can get us through anything. Dear God, I hope he's right. I have to tell him the truth. I have to, Dimitri. I can't lie to him anymore, and you can't lie to Erica anymore. We can't live the rest of our lives with this secret between us. Stay tuned for scenes from the next All My Children. Tomorrow, on All My Children. You won't let him do it to me, Eliza. You won't let him toss me out into the street. I gave Mr. Merrick the wrong information. That baby isn't his. Maybe I wish I had done anything but what I did. Tell me. 